I'm Heather Rue. I work over at Sheffield Metals and I'm in the accounting department. I see myself as being there for a long time, lifelong career. Nate Rawson here, outside service manager with New Tech Machinery. I've been with New Tech six plus years but I've been in this business for about 37 years. Hey, my name's Andrew Jakaski. Hey, this is Ben, service manager at New Tech Machinery. My definition of humble is we're not always perfect. We're not always right. There is many variations and many interpretations of a situation. Someone that doesn't always take the credit for when things go right or avoid the blame when things go wrong. Being able to accept criticism if there's you know problems, just being nice, you know, treat people how you want to be treated. One of the biggest things to me is checking your ego at the door. No one person is any better than anyone else in this company. It's about a team. From the phone call to when the product ships out the door, we're all part of that. Hungry is always treating every day like it's your first day on the job. You want to go in and try to learn from everybody that you can, continue to try to improve each day. One of the reasons why I left to go over Sheffield was to pursue more. You know, I wanted to learn more. You have to have that hunger of wanting something, and if you want it, you need to speak up. They spoke up and I said, I need more, I want more. Wanting to learn, wanting to try new things, go out and see the world, not be stagnant, just sitting in the same place. Maybe trying to do a little more and try to go above and beyond or, or help out that teammate that may be struggling. The definition of smart for me is being able to walk into a room and understand when people have issues, problems, they're frustrated, they're upset. Being able to gauge that setting without really having to talk too much or dig too deep. Someone that's engaged in the subject at hand, whether it be working on a machine or trying to help a customer or solve a problem or an issue. So it doesn't necessarily mean book smart or street smart. Everybody's culture is different. So everybody has different aspects to bring to the table, different ideas. Lifelong learning to me is always keeping your finger on the pulse of new developments and new technology within the, the machine business or even within our metal roofing business. I always like to go on you know, competitors' websites and see what new products they have to offer and new components that they might use on their machines. There's always something new to learn there. It could be something as small as just how to add a part number in the system or something larger as far as knowing ASME standards. There's always something that can be taught at the company. Lifelong learning is personal and professional. Building towards a goal, whether it's, you know, you want a higher position or buying a house or, you know, stuff that you can use in your everyday life. And if you don't know, you just ask. If it's something that you're passionate about or you want to learn, find the people who can help you. An accident can happen at any moment and you should always have safety on the forefront of your mind. I truly believe that. That's why I have all 10 fingers. It makes me feel comfortable that the people out in the shop are doing things the right way. My husband's out in the shop, so I know that he's safe and glad that they you know, have the processes to, to make sure they take care of themselves. So being safe means common sense, being aware of your surroundings, watching out for others. When you work in a, a manufacturing environment, if you see something that doesn't look right to you, tell somebody to make sure that everyone's safe. We all go home to our families without injury, without issues, and we keep doing what we like to do.